Uh, want to switch gears here, get into a little bit of Nebraska football because we're about to talk to our guy Mike J. Schaefer here at nine o'clock. There's going to be some uh, media availability to watch practice from nine to nine twenty-five as well. So we'll have some more for you on that tomorrow. But I wanted to start going a little bit group by group here and getting into some of the stuff you saw at the coaches clinic um, and some of the open media sessions that we've had already. And I wanted to start with running backs because there's a there was a comment that Sam made yesterday. You've been kind of hinting around it a little bit with this position group. And Sam said, basically, uh, I'll sum it up here. He hasn't heard the things you'd want to hear about that group yet. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel like Coach Rule's pretty upfront about guys that he thinks are playing well, guys that maybe need to step it up a little bit. Haven't really heard either necessarily from that running back group, which is maybe more concerning than him calling guys out. Um, I know it's not the entire group is healthy, but I guess I just, what are your concerns about that group as it is? I wouldn't start with concerns as much as just like an assessment. Okay. Right. Like, um, I, I do think it's interesting, right? Because an, an, this happens every offseason, right? Now a name that we're hearing emerging is is Mazuka, mm -hmm. right? And, and people feel like, oh, my gosh, you know, walk on. What's going on? You, you got to get that out of your – with, with this coaching staff, as best we can, you're going to have to remove how people came in or what they came in under as kind of like the guy – the. The, the catalyst for your thought so process. So whether they're a five star, a three star, a walk on, a yeah. Transfer, so so like a if freshman, you look at yeah, for instance, whatever. For instance, we talked about a guy the other day. This was at practice. Um, Michael Booker Jr. Mm -hmm. Amazing talent. Mm -hmm. Good size, runs well. I mean, he's a dude. Mm -hmm. Super good natured. But what what's what's holding Michael Booker Jr. back? Well, it's a it's a mental thing. It's mm -hmm. just because you came in as something doesn't mean that's who you are. That's you who you are. are. That's why names. See, we I'm, I'm big. You, you give that meaning. You give the name meaning. And as long as you can control that, like life is good. Mm -hmm. Just because somebody calls you something doesn't mean you have to own its traits or what they intend it to mean for you. Mm -hmm. Move on. Right. So for him. It's like, eh, you don't have to think like a quote unquote walk on. Like you belong. Mm -hmm. You belong. You're highly explosive. You're pretty fast. You're at a position in which if you want to go get it, right? Those in, those linebackers, it's like, hey man, like you see Bullock? You see you see that target? Mm -hmm. Go go be like that guy. That guy gives two cares. <laughs> or like uh so, so so like a Bly Hill. He's a FCS transfer, right? Yeah. Kind of a, a no name recruit. Yep. Um, but they really love his talent, right? As opposed to getting back to the running back group, yeah. Dante Dowdell, yeah, so it four star, highly touted, yep. comes from Oregon, a place we respect, as opposed to St. Francis, a place we can't find on a map, right? Like, the, so there's, but Dante Dowdell, Bly Hill viewed equally coming into the staff. Yeah. So it's like, and you know, you hear. D d I just kind of try to watch and then hear what I hear and then see what happens at pressers. Right. So everybody's kind of had, not everybody, a lot of guys have had their moments, right? A, couple, a week ago, Sat was like, man, you know, Dowdell really runs behind his pads. Mm -hmm. He tries to run through a guy's face. So then you, 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 you go watch that or you, you'll hear coach rule or somebody, I'm going to say coach Mac, you'll hear coach rule or somebody say, Hey man, you know, Emmett, great run. You know, way to put your foot in the ground or, you know, Mazuka or whomever else. Would you love to hear a guy just be the guy? Sure. But we have to take this with a in it in its context. You're gonna need three or four guys. You want three or four guys engaged. You could need four or five before it's over. So you're not gonna make any sweeping judgments mm -hmm. because I think everybody has their thing. Gabe Irvin Jr. Coming back from injury, we don't know enough. Now, does he look yoked and pretty fantastic running around on a bike and jogging and all this other stuff? Yeah. 
right? Still coming off an injury. Ramir Johnson has got the shoulder. He looks amazing. Ramir, to me, looked bigger than me. Maybe it was just because he had pads on mm -hmm. or because I'm whatever. But, <laughs> um, you know, I, I, I stood next to, to EJ, and I, I, I kind of know what he's about as he's continuing to evolve. I've seen, I've seen these guys. So I think I, I say all that to say when I'm just looking at the position, Will they have a bell cow? I mean, maybe, but more importantly, I think they want a style. I think they're looking for a style. For guys to run a certain style. Get behind your pads, put your foot in the dirt, and get downhill. So get what the blockers give you. Or no? Ah, oh, good question. Good distinction. So, for instance, like if I take an individual back like L, mm -hmm. very good when he has an opening. When they Pro create a hole, he's downhill, yeah, he's runs really hard. Probably he's probably uh, like right now, he's a guy that's gonna but he, take. He's gonna take what he gets. But he doesn't meet your eye because he needs more to go right. I like. I I need a guy. You know, give me a little more vision. You or like guys that don't need as much to go right. Maybe can find a, a backside crease a little okay. easier. Stuff like that. So that's just. just Dalzell just my, needs things to go according to plan. Again, not that linear right now. Okay. Right. We're asking best case scenario. Not, I'm not limiting anybody because guys. No, but as we currently state, that's all we know. That's all we can. Go I, off yeah, of. I. But I still wouldn't say that though because that's not really what I think. Okay. Right. He's very good with a crease. That's when I see his explosiveness. Okay. I'd like to see it when you have to 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 make it or or to generate it or once you get out on the edge, like dealing with a defender because okay. it's not always going to be clean. Okay. So conversely, you know. EJ, it's like, all right, you, you've been, you, it's been ingrained downhill, downhill, downhill. Well, you're a pretty gifted runner too. Yeah. So occasionally, yeah, sprinkling a little improvisation. Okay. Right. Um, you know, with Mazuka, it's like he's, he's got to grow into it a little bit too because he's kind of pigeoned him. He's kind of been in a position where he's a certain kind of back, you know, a little scatty, a little third downy something like that so if you're looking for more well-rounded mm -hmm. then he's got to diversify his game as well so i think they're looking more for right now and it's early because i watch those guys work and i think it's more about taking on their coach's personality mm -hmm. I, I do because i think coach ej or i one's ej so let's just go with coach barthel mm -hmm. so i don't you don't confuse ej's um, he's a, he's a tough guy. He's a no nonsense guy. He's a, he's a straight shooter. There's a standards guy. What's important for these, these backs is, is how does the, the culture fit with my skill set? I know I got to have a couple things. I gotta be smart. Mm -hmm. I gotta be tough. And I gotta get downhill. So of all those things, then I have to look at my natural skill sets. Am I a vision guy? Am I an edge guy? Am I want to deal in space? And how can I incorporate that culture? Because it's like anything else. It's like when you go to get a job, you know kind of the environment. It's where do my skill sets fit in which I can either enhance or I need to work on, mm -hmm. right? So it's the, it's the same thing with these guys. And I think the offense is, has changed a little bit in terms of its concepts with different quarterback play. So they're still evolving to it. Could you, would you love to just go get a, a one package guy? Sure. sure. A three down back, do whatever you but, need but, to do. But, but so do a lot of schools in college football. Those so, aren't super common. So I don't know about concern is like, uh, I'm, I'm Questions. worried. Questioning the, the, watching the evolution of it is kind of where I'm at with the backs. But he throws a bone. It, it, uh, he's thrown bones to almost everybody so far in terms of guys that are participating in sports. Yeah. If you're just listening yeah. to like kind of what coaches are, are, are saying, right. Cause even if guys gifted talentedly or talentedly from a talent standpoint, mm -hmm. um, maybe it's his grasp of the playbook. Sure. Maybe he's a good runner. Maybe he doesn't pass pro that good yet. Maybe he's one, one good runner. Maybe we don't trust him in, in the as a receiver. Yet. So I think right now, yeah. until you're waiting for a, a, the perfectly wrapped gift, you got to play the guy's strengths. Yeah, you got to mix and match a little bit. Yeah, which is what I think they're doing. 
which lends itself a little bit to why you maybe haven't seen or just heard one guy emerge. Do you, do you, you know what I mean? Yeah, the, the way I look at the group is a lot of options, not a lot of answers yet. Yeah, I mean. But it's better you, to have you, options you, than not. You got a fresh, you got a redshirt freshman, too, who, you know, they, they, they like quite a bit, too. In Ives? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, like I said, a lot of options, not a lot of answers. I, I'm not. I wouldn't say I'm concerned because I do like some of the guys in the group. Um, some I like better than the like. I'm. I like him. I like him in a ton. Uh, well, you were their guy, TK, on that one. He's been banging uh, like, that drum on Emmett for a I, while. I and I know people are like, oh, you know, my like my eye gravitates towards mm-hmm. certain styles. I like, I like EJ because he doesn't. You don't have to micromanage him. Yeah, like he's going to go get it and he's he's used to not being the guy. So he doesn't need the constant feedback either. Like he's going to go get it regardless.